Park and Navy Pier, but in this week's Destination Illinois, we're searching for the hidden gardens of Chicago. Julian Cruz leads the way. A hundred yards from the mechanized roar of DuSable Lakeshore Drive, a soothing dose of nature in Lincoln Park. You can hear the sound of water, the perimeter is protected. You don't hear much in the way of, of sounds of the city. This is a place to heal. Soak up the serenity of this national historic landmark tucked away off Fullerton Parkway, the marvelous Alfred Caldwell Lily Pool, completed in 1938, attracting garden lovers young and old from every part of the globe, like this couple from Japan here to experience Caldwell's masterpiece. Alfred Caldwell really wanted to bring um, the prairie into the city. It's a garden surrounded by history. The city's oldest dwelling place, the 1836 Widow Clark House at 18th and Indiana, keeping watch over the Chicago Women's Park and Garden, the Helping Hands Memorial, honoring Jane Addams, the pioneering social reformer, the black granite sculpture garden offset by the brilliant hues of summer. We come get our pictures taken here. We hang out here with the kids. We do our picnics here. Nestled between the apartment buildings of Chicago's South Shore, discover a piece of earthly paradise, the South Merrill Community Garden. Hello, little darlings. Diane Hodges lovingly tends to her flowers, the 72-year-old force of nature, a horticultural visionary welcoming visitors to the sanctuary she's created. Anybody wants to come and leave their footprint in the garden, they're more than welcome to come and be part of that particular art project. The rich soil and vibrant colors of this urban refuge at 70th and South Merrill providing what Hodges says is a therapeutic encounter with nature. It's color therapy. We know that art is healing. For visiting hours and activities, visit the South Merrill Community Garden Facebook page. For Destination Illinois, Julian Cruz. And now, meteorologist Zane Satry with your local...